I was recently served a glass of lemon water at a restaurant, but just before taking a sip, I started to reflect on what my dentist told me a couple days earlier, telling me to avoid acidic drinks to prevent my tooth enamel from eroding. What vulnerable creatures we are, not being able to drink some water with a slice of lemon without our teeth falling out. But this made me question what other things could also be melted with a good squeeze of a lemon. How many lemons would it take to melt the Eiffel Tower? Here's a brief game plan. There needs to be a steady stream of lemon juice running down the exposed surface areas of the Eiffel Tower. In an ideal world, the lemon squeeze at the top will run down and dissipate into the four bases equally. But because of the three platforms in the tower, there's a concern that the lemon juice will just pool on the floors. But the time it takes for the platforms to fill is an opportunity cost that could have been used to squeeze lemons on the four legs directly. Also, to offset some of the costs and make this venture potentially profitable, we're going to make this an amusement park. There'll be five carousels built around the tower with escalators to all levels going up and down to switch out to participants. The guests will squeeze a lemon at an arm's distance. This makes sure the lemon juice is applied from all angles as well as making the ride as enjoyable as possible for the guests. But to figure out how many lemons we need, or if this is even possible, we'll have to squeeze out the finer details. Citric acid is what's responsible for that stinging sensation you feel when you pick up an orange and the juice runs down under that little piece of skin next to your fingernail. Out of all the citrus fruits, lemons have the highest concentration of the acid with concentrations of around 5-8%. to But unsurprisingly, with a pH level of around 2, the citric acid in lemons isn't quite acidic enough to flat out melt the tower. At least not instantly. Corrosion is a process when a metal reacts with its environment typically in the presence of moisture or certain chemicals. The rate of corrosion depends on the type of metal, the environment, and the presence of the corrosive substance. In our case, with the nickname of La Dame de Fer, meaning the Iron Lady, the Eiffel Tower is made out of iron. The environment is in Paris, France, and the corrosive substance we're going to use is lemon juice. Let's take a look at these factors in greater detail. The Eiffel Tower is made out of wrought iron in an open leather structure through a process called bottling. Compared to the types of modern iron alloys such as cast iron or stainless steel, wrought iron has less than 0.08% carbon content. Because of this, wrought iron has a much greater tensile strength than cast iron, hence being used for large structures such as the Eiffel Tower. However, because the iron is combined with only trace amounts of carbon, rust is more likely to form from the lemon juice. Regarding the lemons, they're going to be lab grown and all will have the upper range of the 8% concentration of citric acid. The lemons will be cut in half on site and squeezed from the carousel. Some might argue that extracting the lemon juice into a bucket will be more efficient. However, the citric acid in lemons would momentarily be broken down by oxygen in the air during the time it takes for transportation. The decrease in potency will consequently require the use of more lemons to make up for the lack of potency which makes this a waste of food and resources. Now we wouldn't want to be wasting food and resources, would we? Others might point out you can artificially make the equivalent of lemon juice using citric acid and hydrous and adding some water. Saving hours of time spent on agricultural efforts, construction and hand arthritis from squeezing lemons. And while that would be a great point, remember we're making this into an amusement park and citric acid solution wouldn't be great for marketing. Next, we have the environment of Paris, France. This is important because temperature can have an impact on the concentration of citric acid in lemon juice. However, with the large amount of people squeezing lemons, combined with the fact Paris doesn't have extreme temperature ranges, we can look past this issue. It's important to note that the Eiffel Tower has received a new cover of paint 20 times so far. But since we're not trying to melt the paintings, the paint jobs are getting put on hold, as well as all maintenance and preservation efforts. Currently, even without the lemon juice, there are parts of the tower that are covered in rust, and some experts are arguing that a single layer of paint on top of existing layers that are flaking will not ensure the tower to remain structurally sound. So how many lemons would we need? To estimate the amount of lemons, we need to determine the dimensions of the tower. But as an estimate, the surface area of the tower is approximately around 250,000 square meters. So if the tower is fully covered in lemon juice with a depth averaging around 0.2 centimeters, we would need to multiply the area by the depth and convert it into liters, leaving us with 500,000 liters of lemon juice. The average lemon has 45 milliliters of juice. So if we divide that by 500 million milliliters, 
It will result in 11,111,112 lemons in a single moment of time to cover the tower. Seeing the numbers, it's sounding a bit unrealistic for all the lemon juice to be hand squeezed. So we're going to enlist the help of a lawn sprinkler, which will shoot up lemon juice into the sky. Higher end models or lawn sprinklers can have a lemon juice flow rate of around 20 litres per minute. We're going to go ahead and purchase 250,000 of these and place them along the tower and some underneath so we can maximise coverage. We'll also have 5,000 people with fire hoses with a flow rate of 900 litres per minute, providing us with 225,000 litres released every 3 seconds. The rest of the lemon juice will come from those wanting to squeeze a lemon on the Eiffel Tower. And to ensure the safety of the ride, the 5 carousel rides will be made out of galvanised stainless steel, covered with several layers of paint, so the lemon juice that is airborne doesn't corrode the ride faster than the tower. For every carousel, there'll be 111,112 people on an automatic rotation system, switching out every 3 seconds. It'll be a bit like one of the biggest stadiums rotating around in air, but instead of hot dogs and beer on the floor, it'll be lemon juice. Now, with all that sorted, how much time would this actually take? Given that despite constant maintenance efforts, after 134 years, it's still showing significant signs of wear, Without the repainting and maintenance, it's safe to assume that with 150 more years, the Eiffel Tower would structurally lose its load bearing capacity due to corrosion, and may possibly have collapsed, or at the very least at significant risk of collapsing. But to what extent would the lemons help? To answer this, let's take a look at why things rust. Iron has a natural tendency to react with oxygen. However, the presence of water is important for oxidation. Whether it comes from rain, air humidity or lemon juice, water enables the movement of ions and facilitates the electrochemical reactions involved in rusting. Considering that the majority of lemon juice is water, the constant exposure will speed up this process. Indeed, there are many that have used lemons to get rid of rust, which might contradict what we're trying to achieve. However, by breaking down the protective layer of rust that forms on the surface of the iron, new layers of iron can be exposed to air and water, resulting in rapid oxidation. So now that we know the lemons will be useful, with some calculations, we can see that to run this amusement park for 75 years, it will take 394 trillion 470 billion litres, or nearly 9 quadrillion lemons. Now, with a project like this spanning over decades, you might be tricked into thinking the cost will be quite high. The price for the carousels, the escalator, the safety glasses, the lemons, the buckets, from what's listed so far, the price might leave a sour taste in your mouth. But remember, we're running an amusement park. Instead of going to the Disneyland nearby, paying 100 euros to be stuck in lines, on the Eiffel Tower Ride and the iHertz Tower Ride, the wait time is the ride. And after you finish the first ride, there's another one waiting just seconds later. For a once in a lifetime experience, the basic tier tickets will be at an affordable price at 15 euros, with the high tier hose experience at 25 euros. There will also be an activity called Catching Lemons, where participants can compete to see how much lemon juice they can collect in a bucket. Unrelated to that, we'll have a lemon stand selling lemonade. Did you know iron deficiency anemia affects 1.2 billion individuals worldwide? And our lemonade happens to be high in iron. This project is also beneficial to the country since it incentivizes tourists worldwide to visit France, as well as saving on recurring costs for the tower. We'll also be able to save energy on 20,000 light bulbs that cost 1.12 million to light up each year, totaling $84 million over the years. This use of energy causes environmental pollution and disrupts many ecosystems. From this, you might be wondering how the electricity for the escalator and the carousel are going to be generated. From the used lemons, we can generate a bit of electricity back. And even if this isn't enough, Approximately two-thirds of France's electricity comes from the country's 56 nuclear reactors. And France has been an electricity exporter for the last 30 years. Meaning that France has so much electricity, they're trying to get rid of it. So why not use some? Speaking of using things, if we use this space on the Eiffel Tower as a billboard, and fit 10 billboards with similar rates to the billboards in New York, it will result in an extra $45 million. With all this added up, it will give us a revenue of 6 quadrillion 582 trillion 999 billion 375 million 375 thousand dollars with a profit of a similar number. So what can we learn from this? If lemons can help corrode away an iron structure, 
it can also corrode the enamel on your teeth. If enough enamel is eroded, lemons will directly come in contact pulp to pulp, causing as much pain as it would on your finger. So don't forget to brush your teeth and reapply a layer of paint every 7 years.